Good morning guys, welcome to lockdown 2.0, weekend 2. This is gonna get confusing, isn't it? Um, I'm actually on my own in the kitchen right now because Mike and River are upstairs getting some teddies and I wanted to say hello. We're having a late start this morning um, because we have absolutely zero plans and River was actually, she was actually not great. She woke up at like 4.30 and got into our bed and had some milk and then was just kicking me in the face for the next hour and a half. But basically after that, she's just been chilling in our bedroom watching TV. We had some breakfast in bed um, and we're now downstairs. It's half past 10. We've had one of those like super slow mornings. The kitchen's a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna tidy it up, make a coffee and then probably go out on a nice walk. Also got my new boots on and I've decided I need some skinnier blue jeans, which I do have a pair, but they're in the wash. So I need to wear those with these because this situation, I've like folded up the jeans, but they like don't fit in the boots. Anyway, I love the boots. They're so comfy, so nice. And I've got my little jumper on that matches them. Very happy with that. If you guys are thinking about buying the Grenson Nanette boots and you're unsure, they look super uncomfortable. They are super, super comfy and cozy. Um, these are like the beigey ones with little shearling tongue, super wintry, love them. Oh, yummy, you've changed your tune. I've just made Riv some lunch and she said, I don't want lunch, now she says yummy. So what have we got here, Riv? You can you talk us through, what's that? Um, Sweet corn. Sweet corn. And what's over here? Um, a cucumber. With? Um, with salmon. And? Pasta. And? Hammy. Salmon. It's not hammy, it's salmon. Salmon. Yum. I want ham. So continuing my theme of um, weird lockdown snacks, me and River. River's not eating any of that stuff I just gave her. She's eating hearts of palm. Niche, niche, but a tasty, tasty snack nonetheless. I've actually just got a call from my friend Ruth, who is coming over to drop some stuff off, um, which is hopefully gonna be included in my gift guide, Christmas gift guide, she's basically pet playing postman. Um, and I think we're gonna go out for a walk. I'm hoping she might have brought her little boy, Henry, um, and we're gonna take the kiddos out for a little countryside walk, which would be nice. Um, not much else going on. I feel like it's a very boring Sunday. Actually, I have just done one thing. I've just got Mike to bring this mirror down from upstairs so that I can put it here temporarily. Basically, my plan is, because I don't have a place that has good lighting and is not an old mirror, um, I've put this here so I can take outfit pictures. It's not quite wide enough, but my plan is to buy a thinner, narrower, um, like lightweight mirror. So basically I can take my outfit photos here and slightly angle it so that you see that and then pretty windows behind me and obviously better mirror that is not completely antique. And then I can sneak it behind this door when it's not in use. That's my theory because there's really nice, the light in here is a bit crazy now because it's very, you know when it's like really, really sharp sunlight, um, but it's much better than my dark, dark hallway, um, which is the mirror we put up last week, which I basically have decided that there's basically, this is just like the worst place ever. This is with all the lighting on, because we have spotlights up here, but above where I am, it's just like super dark. There's no windows in this hallway. So, um, and also this mirror, I don't know if you can see, on camera it actually doesn't look too bad because it brightens it, but in Instagram, it just looks super bad quality and the photos turn out really bad quality. So um, I'm looking for, if anyone knows where to find, a thin lightweight mirror that is about this wide. So I think it's about a meter and a half wide, maybe a meter wide. Um, yeah, probably about a meter wide that is lightweight. If anyone knows of one, let me know. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing, I always get questions about this jumper. This jumper is super old. Well, it's not super old, it's from last Christmas. So not last Christmas, last winter. So it's not available anymore, but it is from Jigsaw and I really love it. And then I've got an old All Saints shirt. It's probably like five years old. It's got soy sauce stains all down the front. So I only use it as like a layering shirt. My jeans are from, can't remember. Um, somewhere. I think I bought them in Chicago when we went to Chicago a couple of years ago. And that is my outfit, cozy Sunday. So I've just been on a delightful walk um, with my friend Ruth, 
had a little catch up, distanced coffee outside. Um, River wouldn't come with us, so it was just me and her, which is actually really nice. And I'm now waiting for um, a Zoom meeting to start because I basically, you know, like rustling around there in the freezer. Got some brown for lunch? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I basically <laughs> organised a surprise, I'm whispering because it's a secret, organised a surprise baby shower for my friend Nim. Um, we were actually supposed to do one with just our closest friends with five of us um, today in London. Obviously that couldn't happen. So, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I'll speak to you later. I just had the best afternoon baby shower. Um, that group of girls, if you don't recognize them, they're basically my, my best school friends. So there's five of us that often catch up together. Um, and Min is about to have a baby in two weeks time um, so we did her baby shower and she actually had no idea I thought she would have guessed we got her mum involved to like set up a background because she's staying with her mum at the moment um, and we got her to like set up all these balloons and everything and she, we managed to pull it off and it was a surprise and it was just so nice to catch up a bogey oh no <laughs> um, so yeah it was just so good they're pictures of you and Gigi where? Here, look, you and Gigi. I'm gonna put them in a frame for her for Christmas present. What do you think? It's yeah. my grandma and Riv. Yeah, it's gonna be Gigi's Christmas present. Um, so yeah, and now no plans. I don't know where Mike is. He's probably watching the Grand Prix. To be fair, Riv got involved in the baby shower too, didn't you? Were you singing songs to the girls? And these are us. That's you, yeah. And Willie and Piggy and me. <laughs> Who's at the top? Me. Oh yeah. Basically I print off. I have like a, a book where I write letters to Riv at certain stages in her life and I print off basically like um, film reel style. And then we get Lulu. Yeah, Lulu's on there. Film reel style pictures and then put them in to like document her life and like everything's going on. Ooh. Certain ages, so these are going in the book. Meow, 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 meow. meow. What's this cat's name? I don't know. Do you want me to tell you? It says on his bottom, these are my beanie babies from when I was a girl. You know what it's called? Um, Amber. Amber. Your best friend at school is called Amber. Amber, Amber. <laughs> Amber the kitten. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. So I've just come into Mike's office, which is kind of like a games room funny room that Mike has like claimed as his own and keeps all of his stuff in. Golf clubs, gaming, all that kind of stuff. And the last few days, Rev has been like, oh, daddy, daddy, can we go to the golf course? And I haven't been in here with them playing and I've just assumed she's talking about his little putting things. Um, no, I walk into his office. What the bloody hell is this? He's literally got a freaking golf putting green in here. I thought he was talking, like River was talking about these things, which he's had in here on the floor for like years. But no, he's installed, well not installed, it's basically just like a rug. Um, and installed a little putting green in his office. Ah, hilarious. On another note, I've got absolutely no idea where they've gone, because they're not in there. The TV's on, the golf's on, I thought they were watching that, but I'm just trying to see if they're outside on the swings. I don't think they are. No idea where they've got. They must be hiding somewhere. I think I may have found them. Ah ha ha! She asleep? No. Hi. Oh my goodness! Are you watching Paw Patrol? I was watching the golf, and someone's dragged me in here. I just went into your office in the golf sun. I was like, what? Um. Also, that putting green. What? What's that all about? When did you install that? Cheeky monkeys. Someone likes it. What are you guys up to? We've got the dogs in here. Oh no, you don't. Come on. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what she's on about. It's so loud in here. On another, it's literally, I can't even hear myself think. On another note, I know these sofas are hideous. Excuse them, but oh my god, they're literally, they swallow you up like a marshmallow. They're the most comfortable thing and I'm about to be assaulted by a host of fur babies. Every day, every damn day. Personal space, Piggy. Social distancing. This is how little Piglet gets personal space. Did she bite you? 
laugh. Oh, sorry. Don't, don't laugh, laugh, Pig. Piggy, don't laugh. Right guys, so whilst those two are playing, I've come up to my dressing room, I've actually just set up a crazy ring light because the lighting in our house is not great and I was trying to set it up so that you guys could actually see what was going on. It turns out the ring light's the only way. Um, so ta-da, I'm illuminated. Um, anyway, so I wanted to show you a few bits and do like a little haul as part of this video because Black Friday is upon us pretty much. It's actually really weird because I feel like the Black Friday thing just gets earlier and earlier every year. Um, and the only thing that I really pays a lot of attention to on Black Friday is All Saints because I feel like most of my wardrobe is from All Saints. All the stuff that I wear on a kind of daily basis tends to be from All Saints. So I do look out for All Saints Black Friday sale and it actually starts when I'm filming this, it starts tomorrow. The guys in the PR team gave me early access to it and gave me all the info. So basically I've ordered a few things. I wanted to show you what I've got, but also some of my staple pieces that are going to be in the Black Friday sale because I feel like whilst All Saints is gonna be 30% off the entire website, which is amazing, but what I've noticed in previous years is that a lot of the good stuff goes out of stock quite quickly um, because it's on for a full two weeks, which is crazy. Anyway. If you are into Black Friday and you're looking for sales and all that kind of jazz, I'm gonna put a link to my blog where I do like an updated list of all the sales. Basically, I use Black Friday as the opportunity to buy all of my Christmas presents because, I mean, pretty much every store does like 20% to 40% off, so um, why not? And I feel like the discounts this year are gonna be massive as well because the shops are actually shut. People are really trying to like encourage people to shop um, online. Anyway, I'll show you what I got from All Saints. What I'm gonna do quickly, I put on my leather leggings instead of my jeans because I feel like they'll look better with a lot of these outfits. But what I'm gonna do is take my jumper off because most of the stuff that I ordered um, are actually jackets. So this is the first one. I'm not, not actually sure what this style is called, but this is their leather puffer. And I've wanted, this is gonna look quite silly with the leggings actually to be fair, because it's double leather. But I've wanted one of these for a while because I feel like everyone is wearing these leather puffers this year. They were made kind of popular by the Nanushka ones. Um, this one I feel like is a little less bulky. I've actually tried on the Nanushka one and it is so big on me because I'm short. Um, I feel like it looks amazing on people if you're really tall and have like slim long legs. Whereas for me, it's like my legs are not very long um, and I just end up looking like a marshmallow in it. Whereas I feel like this one is a little bit more streamlined i also really like the diagonal puffer detail and i feel like this will be it's so warm and so thick i feel like it'll be a really good staple um i also love how the collar comes up super high and is like <sighs> my screen is upside down so it's not the easiest to show you but yeah i really like that so that's the first thing i got then i also ordered a um lumberjack shirt this is actually from the men's section of All Saints because I have been looking for one of these, I kid you not, I've been looking for one of these for months. I actually bought a cut, I bought one in Zara which I showed in a haul a while ago and I sent that back because the shape wasn't right. But I think this one's actually really good. I quite wanted a black one, but what I wanted was one that was longer so it covers your bum and is quite like a full coat length rather than a shirt length to here. Because a lot of them are really cropped and boxy. But I, I wanted it with like defined arms because the one that I got from Zara, the arms were like, the seam came down to here and it just wasn't a good look. I also did quite want a black and white one because I feel like it will go with more. So this is the men's size extra small. And what I've done is just roll up the sleeves. And because it's a shirt rather than jacket, it's still thick and warm because it's like that flannel material. But I really, really like this. It's quite like lightweight. It's not like a heavy coat, but it's still like warm and cozy and it's super soft as well. So I'm really happy with this. I really like that one. And then I actually got one more jacket as well. And this one, I'm not 100% sure on. So let me know what you guys, what do you think of this? So it's a white denim, oversized biker with the Sherpa like fuzzy lining. So it's super, super cozy and warm, but I'm just not sure about the white, the white denim and whether or not I can pull that off. I'm just like slightly undecided about it. Um, let me know what you guys think. So that's the last jacket. Okay, so I've swapped sides so the lights a bit better, but the last thing is this shirt, which is a beautiful polka dot black shirt. It actually has the slip included as well, which I always find 
really, really helpful because I actually use the slips from a lot of the All Saints dresses and shirts with other items that I need a slip for. So it's kind of like a two in one. But yeah, so this is the shirt. I love it how you can tuck it in at the front. It's also long enough at the back that it like covers your bum. So if you want to wear it with leggings like this, you totally can. Um, I really, really love this. It's got the kind of sheer details on the sleeve as well. And then the other things I'm going to show you were my other like All Saints staples, which will all be 30% off as well. So like if you're looking for a new leather jacket, the Balfern leather jacket, this is like my go-to. I wear this, mine is like worn to death, it's like worn, worn out on the elbows, but I love this jacket so much. Just like, it's the perfect cut for me. Like it, it hits at the right spot and it's just like nice leather. It's, it's like rock, edgy looking, but at the same time well made. And it's like, it looks better with age, I find. I've actually got this in four colours. I've got the black one, and like an oxblood one, a pinky one, and like a mint green one. And I've had them for years, and they just last so well, and I wear them all the time. Absolutely love them. The other thing is my faux leather leggings. These are the Cora leggings from All Saints. I literally live in these. Like, I cannot tell you how much I wear these. They look a bit funny with the boots, because they kind of cut off a bit. I'd normally wear these ones with black boots. But yeah, they just look so, so good. They're so flattering. They have a really, really big band here. So they like suck your tummy in. Um, they're actually better, in my opinion, they're better than the Spanx ones because I've had the Spanx ones and I have to say the biker leggings look so amazing. I absolutely love them. I had to send them back after three washes because the leather coating was coming off. These ones I have worn, they're more expensive, so I think they're about 123, but in the sale it takes them down to like 85, something like that, 90, I think about 85. Um, I've worn them daily and I've had them for over two years, I think. Maybe two, I think I might have bought them in the Black Friday sale two years ago, the first pair. I have three pairs of them, I literally live in them, they're amazing. Um, and better than the Spanx ones for that reason, they just don't last. So um, these are really good. And then the other thing that I absolutely love that is going to be in the sale as well, I've already got, is a dress. Okay, so this is the dress on, I feel like it's just so versatile, obviously I've got no shoes on right now. But you can wear it with boots, with heels, definitely dress it up or down. I actually really like the shape because it's quite open and baggy, like you could wear it um loose if you want to but i personally belt it so this belt is my isabel moran belt which is it's really expensive for what it is but actually the quality is really nice and i have worn this so much it's genuinely one of my most worn items because it's so classic and i feel like if you have something with a lot going on like print like this it really works to have a super super simple belt this will also be going in the sale as well because i got this from Farfetch a while ago, probably like four months ago or something like that, and I've worn it so much, I absolutely love it. But I love this dress, I feel like it's very versatile and easy to wear, and I feel like a lot of people won't be buying like dress up stuff this Black Friday or this kind of festive season because there's gonna be no Christmas parties or anything, but this is a nice one because if you wanna dress up, but you wanna still, like you don't wanna look silly, like overdressed, you know what I mean? Whereas this, you can kind of dress it up or down. I'd chuck a leather jacket over this and put like trainers on or boots and I feel like it, you still look nice, but you're not like dressed up to go out to a party, if you know what I mean, but yeah. This would be my other recommendation from the Black Friday sales. I just, I really love this dress. I think it's so pretty. Um, and it's one of those things I feel like I'll wear a lot as well. Like I'll got, get a lot of use out of it over the years. And that tends to be the case with most of my All Saints stuff. I keep for years and years and years. I actually have a jumper, like a cardigan in my, why is it focusing on the window? Hello. Um, I actually have a jumper in my wardrobe that I've had for eight years from All Saints and I still wear it like probably once a week, once every two weeks. Um, I feel like they're just a really good like classic staple if that's your style. Like that a little bit like casual, a little bit grungy, little, like lots of black, which I tend to go for all the time. Then it's like such a staple for me and 30% of everything. It's like amazing. Um, so yeah, that's my little haul. Loungewear is back on, hair is up, and I've also just bitten the bullet and taken my conch piercing out, which looks so red and angry. Gross, I don't wanna give you too much of a close up of that, but basically, to give you a little bit of a background on it, my body hates piercing. So every time I get a piercing, I have to like, prep myself to be dealing with it for a year and to be potentially on antibiotics numerous times. Like every time I take really good care of them, I follow all the aftercare um, and I'm really careful about sleeping on them and everything. 
but my body just really hates it, especially cartilage piercing. So I've managed to keep this one in and this one up here. Um, but there's been a few over the years I used to have that done as well and that ended up being taken out the first time and I had my Dave pierce and that got taken out. Basically, this bad boy has been causing me all sorts of problems. I've been on two rounds of antibiotics for it um, and it got to the point where I was, I'd take like a week of antibiotics, it would completely go away, be absolutely fine for a week and then it would come back um, infected again, throbbing, like pussy, disgusting. Went on another course of antibiotics and that ended a couple of days ago and then I can feel it, like absolutely fine. I can feel it now getting sore again and I was just like, you know what, I don't want to get to the stage again where it's infected again because the doctors have got to the stage where they're like, you need, if it, this doesn't work, you need to either take it out or come in and see us. I'm like, that's just not what we need right now, everything going on. I was like, I'm just gonna take it out. So it's now looking disgusting and seepy and gross, but sad, sad times because I've invested probably like two months into trying to make it work and I love the way it looks so much, but oh well, oh well. I'm just really, really, really hoping that this one's okay. It's kind of unhappy at the moment because Riv hit me around the ear the other day and it's kind of, um, it made it like really, uh, it made it bleed at the time. So it's now like really scabby and disgusting. This is such a gross thing to be talking about on the internet. Sorry guys, if this kind of thing freaks you out. Um, but basically that's really unhappy as well. And now I'm just gonna focus my attention on getting this one better because I really don't wanna lose this one, especially since the earring was quite expensive and I don't have anywhere else to put that earring really. Um, whereas that one was a bit, like it was a smaller earring that you could just put in any piercing. So anyway. Bye bye conch piercing, it's gone. We're having a very lazy Sunday today. You my right, baby? A huggy, oh, a huggy huggy. And we are about to cook a very, very lazy dinner as well and have um, an all plants. I'm just gonna show you guys. Riv's probably gonna freak out, even though she's with Mike. Teriyaki udon is in the oven. Lazy Sunday, and we're gonna go up. Should we go and have a bath? No. Can yeah. mummy get in the bath with bath you? <gasps> I've got some new bubble bath, Riv. <gasps> Should we use the new bubble bath? I'll go and get it. I found these in my office today that I had completely forgotten about. I got sent them from the body shop. I think in the summer, they're banana, which I don't really like the sound of that much for me to get in, but berry sounds very nice. Over to Gulliver's Garden Supplies, rushed Harry McClary with scaredy cat eyes. Tangled in creepers, he panicked and fled through palm trees and poppies till everyone said, Stop the schmuzzle, this hullabaloo! Scarpa skedaddle, do you remember what they said? Mm. Be off with you! Yeah. Shoo! <laughs> so Rose is in bed, I've topped up her bath, which is currently, oh, I was 39, I thought it was super, super hot topped it up with hot water. Um, still smells a bit like banana, but I, I can deal with that. And I've also got um, this to try, which I got sent from Sarah Chapman. You guys probably know I love this brand. Sarah's so nice as well. I've met her quite a few times now and she's always so lovely. Um, she's just launched a microneedling set, which is actually amazing for lockdown because it's a treatment that you can get in um, salon, but it's actually like a pretty snazzy setup. I think there's actually two spare heads in here um, and there's special serum. It's called a meso or meso melt infusion system. So they give you the serum to apply and um, it says the needles dissolve as you use them, which is interesting. So you, I think each head is single use. Anyway, I'm going to give this a go tonight, give myself a little facial and have some dinner with Mike. So I just finished my little rolling session and actually I don't think it's as um, strong or as needly. I don't think the needles are very big. Um, it definitely was an enjoyable treatment and my skin is obviously a little bit flushed so it's like done something but it's definitely not as um the needles definitely aren't as long as the usual treatment that i use so it'll be interesting to see i'm going to finish it but i'm slightly hesitant whether it's worth the money because it's quite an expensive treatment i think my um my camera is steaming up 
so steamy in here. So this is what the dinner looks like if anyone's wondering. We actually get like a monthly delivery from All Plants. Um, it's kind of like our lazy day cooking and everything is pretty, I mean it's still a ready meal but it's like pretty healthy and all vegan so as the name would suggest. Um, but yeah. Ooh, a fire. Yes, Mike. The golf? Just finished, don't worry. Not so much into that. <laughs> No way, Jose. We are also just sitting down, probably got food in my teeth, <laughs> to watch the new series of The Crown, which I have to say, we watched the first series, loved it, watched about half the second series and got a bit bored, and I'm now very keen to watch series four without watching the rest, because it goes into oh, the 80s and the Diana years, and I'm just really, really here for that. But because it's history, like, realistically, we know what happened. So yeah, we know like, what happened, but it's not like you need, I you also need find it really uncomfortable in a way because it's like the current royal. It's always been the current royal, obviously, because the queen is still alive. But now it's coming into like more current times. It seems really strange to me that like it's all about Prince Charles and Prince Charles's marriage, and obviously he's. I, do they watch it? Do you think they watch it? Do you think William and Kate watched this? I wonder. I bet they do. I bet they do. But then this season is a bit weird, isn't it? Because it's, it's a bit closer to home because it's like only in the 80s. Anyway, I'm gonna watch it. Hey guys, I'm just signing on to say goodnight because I'm sat here in bed. Mike's asleep. <laughs> I'm watching The Crown and doing some editing. Thought I'd just finish off the vlog here. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Um, and thank you for all your nice messages about the lockdown vlogs as well. I've been getting so many of them and I'm really glad you're enjoying them and I'll see you next weekend hopefully. Bye!